Hey guys, it's Lady Pops, and I just want you to know that, like, I'm not, like, dirty or anything. I do change my clothes, but I am filming four videos in one day. That's why I have the same tank top on in all my videos, like, in the next two weeks. So, deal with it! Bada ba boom pow So today we're going to be doing another Yummy Nummies Kitchen Magic, um, English USA version of the Crazy Poppin' Cooking things. <laughs> Today's one is going to be the cookie creations maker. It says we can make 10 cookies but I'm feeling optimistic because the last one I did, the cupcake maker, we ended up getting 14 cupcakes out when they said there was going to be 10. So I'm very, very, very optimistic about this. I think it comes in chocolate and white chocolate and there is only three steps which is mix, make and enjoy. I'm very much looking forward to the enjoy part. So it only takes 15 seconds to cook in the microwave and it says we, it has everything included other than water and scissors. So go and get those now. And I'm gonna open this up and get started. Good luck. So once you've opened your packaging, you'll see inside an orange packet with the cookie dough, a purple packet with the milk chocolate chips, and a green packet with the white chocolate chips. There is also a mini cookie bag, a purple measuring spoon, and a yellow stirring spoon. You'll also see your instructions. There is also the kitchen magic tray, and you will use your scissors to cut the kitchen magic tray along the indented lines so that you have one for baking and one for stirring. Now you want to take your stirring tray and your orange packet cookie dough mix. Cut along the top of the packet so you have easy access for your measuring spoon. And into tray one, you want to mix eight spoons of cookie dough powder. Try not to spill it as much as I did. I made a mess. And let me just tell you something, this stuff smells amazingly sweet. So, so sugary and nice. I was really tempted to dip my finger into the powder and put it in my mouth, but I resisted. Then using the same measuring spoon, you want to put in four scoops of water. And then you just want to stir that vigorously until it's a nice gooey consistency. There were a few lumps still in it, but I think that's okay because mine turned out fine with the lumps. Then you want to take your cookie shaped tray and scoop even amounts of the mixture into trays 2, 3, 4 and 5. And you can't really see it in this clip but there is a small fill line on the edges of each of the cookie holes. Now I got a small container for the chocolate and the milk chocolate chips. This just made it easier so that I could take the chocolate chips I wanted. Then all you have to do is add the milk or white chocolate chips to the tops of each of the cookie doughs. The instructions say to use about four to six chips on each cookie. I think this is so they don't fall apart when you take them out. Then you wanna microwave your cookie tray for 15 to 20 seconds. Wait about one minute to cool before carefully taking out the cookies. This was a little bit tricky because they were still sticky, but if you pop them in the freezer for a couple of minutes, this should be fine. And here are the completed cookies. They look so amazing and super, super cute. I ended up taking mine to work with me and everyone at work tried them and loved them. Some of them were thicker than others. The thicker ones were a bit goopier, but the thinner ones were a lot crispier. So depending on your preferences, add more or less of the mixture when making your own cookies. And for serving, decoration or Instagram photos, you can now place them into the mini cookie bag provided, which makes them look even cuter. So these came out amazingly. They are so, so cute. They're like super tiny. They're like about the size of a 10 pence piece. And they're kind of squidgy, but I think that's because I did the mixture a bit too thick because I did do like a thinner one and it's like proper crispy. So I'm gonna try this one first to give it like a taste test. And then we'll go for like the squidgier ones. And this one's got loads of chocolate chips. I'm very excited. <laughs> oh, okay, they're really good. Uh, what was it? Okay, they are amazing. I don't know what it is, but the yummy nummy kitchen sets so far have impressed me so much. I'm not sure if I was doing it wrong with the popping cooking uh, sets, but they just didn't taste as nice and as realistic as these do, and these taste fantastic like they really really do taste like cookie the other ones really tasted like cupcake mate you guys gotta go out and try these definitely definitely recommend going out and buy these um i got mine from smith's but i think you can get these from toys r us as well and i think they do a load of range um i got two more to make and i'm super excited i'm gonna do it like right now <laughs> but yeah definitely a 10 out of 10 again man yummy nummies you are bossing it like so good. These are so tasty. I'm super, super, super happy and impressed with these. I'm gonna totally go out and get more. Ah! Again, this was a really, really quick process, probably about 10, 15 minutes this time because there wasn't that much decorating. It was literally batter mix, chuck the chocolate chips in, and then 15 seconds, 20 seconds in the microwave. Done. 
easy peasy super super easy um if you're gonna do them with kids make sure you watch like them use the microwave uh not with these but with the popping cooking added experience of burning and setting the light to the plastic so yeah if you're gonna do it with the kids just watch them when they do the uh microwave part Okay guys, this has been Lady Pops. Don't forget to leave a like and comment if you want me to do more of these. Maybe hit that subscribe button, which is like just here. Um, I'm going to be making more of these and yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. I definitely had fun and I'm going to be sitting here enjoying my cookies and I'm probably going to get a glass of milk. I feel like traditional. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. Bye!